Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, let's have a look over a new barometer and altimeter sensor that will be HP 206C. And to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's look upon the website that will be controleverything.com. And here we have to search on for this sensor as you can see on my screen. And it's a barometer and altimeter with 24 bit ADC that is analog to digital converter. And also, some of more prominent features are respectively. Uh, on this screen you can see it and you can also purchase the sensor right from here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing barometer and altimeter HP 206C with a BeagleBone Black and the platform software platform will be a C code language code and let's go to the source tab and here we have the C code sample onto the screen. You can download the C code sample from this website as a zip file and also you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there will be control everything community now let's make some hardware connections and proceed further well for the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an i2c sheet for the bigger bone black now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other i2c devices so for that, what we require is to gently place this I2C shield over the BeagleBone Black and make a connection just like that. For the power up setup, we require two things. The first is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. It is very useful to power up the BeagleBone Black. Now to power up the I2C shield, we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it over here. Now for an option for the internet connection, there are two mediums. The first is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable and the second is this, a wireless nano USB adapter. This here is our barometer and altimeter and temperature sensor HP 206C and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the cable and the sensor and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the ground wire of the cable and similarly to the I2C sheet. Now, what do we require next is a look over a code. Well, next is the interfacing part and here we have to log into github.com and after that, we have to search on for the repository that will be controlled everything community. And here we go and this comes the sensor HP 206C. And after that, we have the C code. But before that, let's proceed uh, to the instructions part as you can see. First of all, we need to set up our BeagleBone Black and the steps are on this link which is BeagleBone.org. Let me open up for you and as you can see we have several steps which uh, needs to be clearly filled up, uh, taken care of before moving to the next step and here we have to download or git pull the code after the proper setup. And this command will compile and this will run the C code. Note it down. Now get back to the C code and it's a .c extension file. The first thing you notice that we have included several header files and as you can see in the void meet function we have to check that the I2C bus is open or not and the address device is 0x76. Now coming to the writing section part we are going to set OSR and channel setting command that will be 0x44 or with 0x00 and after that we are going to read 6 bytes of the data from the register that will be 0x10 and it is temperature and pressure data and here comes the conversion of the data for temperature and pressure and we have seen these formulas in the data sheet for HP 206C and this point we are going to display the output data onto the screen which is the pressure in Pascal and temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. Now coming to the second part we are going to send a writing command for OSR and channel setting command that will be 0x44 or with 0x01 and here we are reading 3 bytes of the data for altitude from the register 0x31 and here comes the conversion of the altitude data and we have used the formula mentioned in HP 206C datasheet. At the very end we have the output data on the screen which is the altitude in meters. So this is how the code looks like. Now let's see how it proceeds in the form of working part. Alright, now let's have a look over the practicality of the code along with the sensor and for that part we need to copy the entire code as you can see on my screen and here we have 
to open up the terminal for the beagle bone black and we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen dot c will be the extension and here we have to paste the entire code and then we have to save it now for the compilation as you can see on my screen this is the command and let me type on full command for the proper working and the compilation and this here is the command for the compile and the code has been compiled successfully now for the working part this is the command and uh, let me check for oh, this is to run the command to build the command and when i run it we have the pressure in pascal temperature in celsius and fahrenheit scales and we have the altitude when i again run it there's not a significant change because there is nothing reflected onto the sensor but when i try to press my finger over the sensor you can see and run the command you can notice we have the pressure changes it is significant change temperature in celsius and uh, fahrenheit also changes and we have the altitude change in meters and when I again run it the changes are reflected onto the screen so this is how the sensor works now let's see what are the applications and benefits regarding this sensor the hp 206e employs a mems pressure sensor with an i2c interface to provide accurate temperature pressure or altitude data the sensor pressure and temperature outputs are digitized by a higher resolution 24-bit adc the altitude value is calculated by a specific p tainted algorithm according to the pressure and temperature data. Data composition is integrated internally to save the effort of the external host MCU system. The application examples are high precision mobile altimeter barometer, industrial pressure and temperature sensor system, automotive systems, adventure and sport watches, medical gas control system, weather station equipment, indoor navigation and map assist, and a lot more. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.